A rained out 4th of July party last night left six people stranded in a Clayton County home. They woke up this morning to find the home in the middle of the lake and had to wait anxious hours for rescue crews and a boat to bring them to safety. Hey, bring my boot! This was one way for Chris Kitt to communicate with his four friends stranded with Linda and Ernest Ray in their South Clayton County home. Chris and several other young people were also in the house last night. We were all going to meet up and uh, go to the fireworks and all. We heard they were canceled, so we were just stopped. We were going to watch some movies and all. Chris and most of the others went home, but the Rays, their two kids, and two friends stayed the night while the floodwaters rose. This morning, the phones were still working, so 18-year-old John Edwards was able to call his father for help. Does your son, does he sound nervous on the phone? No, they sound like they're just having a good time, just... Just like, uh, just like a party to them. How about to you? Are you a little worried? Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's a pretty strong current there. I'm more concerned about how they're going to get a boat across there and back. Every available boat in Clayton County was tied up, so the six stranded people had to wait close to two hours. But a boat finally became available, and Clayton firefighters launched yet another flood rescue mission. A stubborn motor slowed things down a bit, but the boat was finally in the water, attached to a safety cable, insurance against the strong current. But within a few minutes, Lila Ray and Jeff Mitchell were on their way to dry land. While Lila and Jeff relived their harrowing experience with Chris, rescue crews went back for two more. You scared? Oh, uh, yeah, this morning when we woke up and the whole yard was almost flooded and it was like a lake. Yeah. <laughs> John Edwards was in the next boat along with Eddie Ray. As any parent can relate to, the adventurous teenager was relaxed. His worried father relieved. We left the hose right. on. We left the hose on last night. Yeah, you, dude. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we left the hose on. I think your dad was a little worried. I got a little concerned, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. But it wasn't as easy as it looked. Uh, it definitely wasn't routine. We had some pretty heavy current right off the bank, about uh, 25 yards from it. And at least once they got through that current, everything was pretty well okay. Oh you be sweet. I will survive without you.